Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how to access the individual characters in Python strings. The reason why I'm making this video is because I was answering a question today about this, so I figured there's some confusion over it, so I might as well just make a video about it. So, I have my console open. The first thing I'll do is fire up Python, and I'll create a string. So I'll call it my string, and it's going to be pretty printed. All right, so I have a string there. So if I just reference my string, it gives me back pretty printed. But if I wanna access individual characters in that string, I can do so using the same notation that I'll use if I were accessing individual elements in a list. So I just use the square brackets with a number in between them to access an element at that index. So an example would be my string zero and I will get a P in return because it's the character at the zero index. If I do my string five, I should get a T. And no, I count it wrong. I got a Y because it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, Y. So, so that's pretty straightforward, whatever index I want, I just put the number in. But I can also start from the end of the string and work my way in. So if I do negative one, I'll get D because D is the last character in the string. If I do negative three, I should get the third to last character, which is a T. And that's exactly what I get. So the person who was asking this question was asking specifically about these negative numbers. Well, the negative number just means that you're starting from the end of the string instead of the beginning. So what are some other things you can do with this? You can specify a range. So I can do my string 0 to 5. And it gives me everything up to, but not including 5. So it starts at this first number, and it gives me everything up to, but not including the last number. So I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but not 5. If I wanted that fifth character, I'd have to change this to a 6. Well, in this case, I don't really need the zero. Um, this is equivalent to what I just wrote above. So putting no number on the left-hand side means start at the beginning. So if I do this, I get the exact same thing. So having the zero there or having nothing there are exactly the same. And there's something similar for accessing everything up to the end of the string. So if I do my string, starting at the fifth element and then putting nothing on the right hand side of the colon, I will get everything starting from the fifth character all the way to the end of the string. So I hope this video made it a little more clear on how to access these uh, characters inside of strings. Um, once you understand that you can just put either a single number or a range, it should be fairly straightforward. So I'm willing to make videos uh, based off of questions I get. So if you have any questions that you would like answered, just let me know in the comments below and I can make a video about it if it requires a longer explanation than I can put in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.